Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to talk about a Java GUI class called JRoot Pane class. So by definition, a JRoot Pane is a container that is used behind the scenes by JFrame. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually use this particular class called JRoot Pane. So let's go in the code. So as you can see on my screen here, I have the MyFrame class, which is extending the JFrame class. And I have the test app class, which is my main class because it's containing the main method. And here I'm creating my frame object. So I'm going to write most of my code in this MyFrame class here. So first of all, let me create a menu bar. So I'm going to say menu bar, I'll call it menu bar, new J menu bar like this, and I will import the J menu bar class. And I can also create a menu. So I'll say J menu, new J menu, and I'll say new here. So this needs to be a string, so new semicolon, and I will say J menu. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add the menu to the menu bar. So I'll say menu bar that add the menu like this. And I can also add some menu items. So I'm going to say menu that add, then I'll say file here. This is a string. I can add another one. So menu that add, I'll say project, and then menu add, I'll say help them semicolon. And now what we're going to do is that we're going to use a root pane instance to add our menu bar to it. So we will create that root instance here by saying j root pane, and I'll call this root pane. So here I'll say root pane, this that get root pane, this, and then semicolon, import the j root pane class if you have not yet done that. So that now here we want to add the j the menu bar to the root pane so i'm going to say root pane that set j menu bar and in the brackets here i'm going to pass the menu bar instance as a parameter so when i run so now you can see my menu bar when i click on it i can see five project and all of that so here what we have done is that the root pane is being considered as you know part of the frame so what if you want to add an, an instance you know a google component to your frame how do you do that if you want to add a google component to the frame let's say for example a button i will come here i will say j button for example call this ptn new j button and i'll say and your information something like that so that the text of the button if we want to add this particular button to the frame by using the root pane we will say root pane because that's the name of the root pane instance we created then that get content pane like this that add and then we can add the button so we call it btn so here we use the root pane to add the menu bar we also here using the root pane to add a GUI, another GUI component to the frame all this is done because here we declare the root pane instance. So as I said at the beginning, a root pane is a class, is a container that is used beyond the scenes by uh, the JFrame and the JDialog classes. So now when I run, you will see that we have send your information here. We can say that we want the layout to be null and we we'll say TN that set bound uh, 200. Um, 200, 200, 140 for the height. And when I run, so now you can see how the button is looking like. Let me run again. Yes. So now this is what we can see on the screen right now. So what if we want to say change the background color of the content pane, for example, we could say root pane at get content pane that set background and color that blue. For example, let's see what will happen. We can see the background color is blue. We can actually work on the button here by setting its background color to say set background red. So BTN at set foreground color that white and BTN at set flexible, say false here. So if you run, there you can see how the button is looking like. I can also set the font. So as I say font here, font, say console as now bold, 
20. Let me run. So what I'm gonna do is to increase size of the button. There you have it. So so guys, uh, that was it on how to use the JRoot Pen class. I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.